Hello there, my name's Mark Nunley. I'm the course team leader for all applied business courses, be that the short 1A level of course, extended certificate, or the extended diploma. Um, so underneath, I'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna put on the screen the work that we'd like you to do, please, in preparation for September. So if you just bear with me a second. Okay, so what we've got, this is really important that you do this to the best of your ability because it's really sort of preparing you for the sorts of things that you're going to need to know when you start to come to college in September and also giving you the opportunity to study some businesses that you really uh, need to be looking at as uh, when the course starts properly. So we get, we've got um, the first part, I want you to choose two different businesses, one of those being Ryanair and it can be any other business. Um, a good idea would be to do a business that's completely different to Ryanair, such as a charity. So Macmillan um, are a good source of information, cancer research people, etc. Uh, Water Aid's a good example. Um, but you can choose any other business. So you've got a number of different things that you need to do for these for these five businesses. So I'll just run through them with you. I've set it up into five areas. So you need to go through, you need to find out whether your business is in, is in the private or public sector and really focus in on answering these questions in here. So a good explanation of what the public sector is in the key, and the key features and examples of businesses in the public sector. So for example, you could be talking about things such as key, uh, what's the public sector? basically owned and subsidized by taxpayers, uh, run um, on the per by the government, um, examples, national health service, education, etc. And you get and you have it in a nice orderly fashion, maybe some of the key features in bullet points. And then I want you to apply that to your own business. Which sector is Ryanair in? Which sector is your other business in? Can you find reasons why they're in that sector? For example, if in the private sector, well, Ryanair are there to make a profit. That's what private sector businesses do. Um, so find some examples. The second part is the ownership and structure of the uh, business. So I want you to find out what sole traders are. So definitions, key features of them, pros and cons, partnerships, limited companies, public limited companies, etc. And then again, do the same thing, apply it to your own business. So what type of uh, ownership structure do Ryan have? How can you prove that? For example, Ryanair being a PLC, they always have a share price. That's an example of why they're a PLC. How many shareholders do they have? And find out similar information as to why your other company is either a partnership, sole trader, limited or public limited company. I mean, you can do if your family have a business, you can look at that and find out from your mum and dad that might be a good source of information for you or a local business that you're interested in. You can even use the company if you've done any work experience, you've done any little bits of part time work every wherever that might have been, a family friend or something like that in the past, you could find a little about a little bit more about their business. Okay, you need to find out the scale of the business. So is it a local, national, regional, whatever that might be, and examples as to why they are. So Ryanair, why are they an international business? Okay, could it be because of where they fly to? Find out some of that information. Notice that I've given you a guidance, please, to how much you should write on each of these points next to it as well. And then we've got some, are they in the primary, secondary, tertiary example? So what are they? And again, apply it to which one your business is in and why. And similarly with your purposes and aims and objectives, a similar sort of thing. What are they generally? Apply them and find out what they are for your business. It's really important that you get used to this, re doing some research and putting uh, information in your work that you've actually researched because there's a lot out there. OK, and then really a topical issue, please. The, the coronavirus and Ryanair, just for Ryanair, this one, please. Um, find out a little bit about how it's impacted upon Ryanair. It's really topical. The airlines are really, really struggling at the moment. Find out some articles. The chief executive, Michael O'Leary, he's been on television programs recently, etc. Find out what they're doing 
how many flights they've had to cancel, what are they, when are they planning to open up their new routes this summer, etc. How are they going to ensure social distancing? All those types of measures, please. Um, so really a nice one side based on a lot of articles that you've read about it. It's really important that you do this. It's preparation for the sorts of things that you can expect when you come to start college in September. Um, and I just want to uh, wish you the, the best of luck over the next few months. And we really look forward to seeing you sometime in se early September. You take care now. Goodbye.